Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. And today we are going to get back to our programming and we are going to start with this mini series about ggplot. So what ggplot actually is, uh, it's uh, our library that is going to help you to create uh, wonderful uh, plots and graphics. And in order to use ggplot, you have to install it first. So if you don't have it, just open your R session and type install packages ggplot2. Uh, and now I'm just going to import my library like this and ggplot2. So now I'm going to show you this piece of uh, document. I have uh, this table in CSV uh, document with some uh, data. You could uh, create your own uh, or to use uh, any other existing document. It's totally up to you. So first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to import this data into variable with the same name. So read CSV. First argument is going to be path. So it's my CSV and header is going to be false. I don't want any header. I'm going to provide column names myself. Column names for data is going to be first element number. Second element is going to be month third element income fourth state before payment and final element average working hours let's make this element short state before payment like this and now I'm going to print everything to the screen, execute this code. Okay, what's wrong? Typo. It's header, save it, run it again. And okay, we have our data imported. So now in order to create a ggplot object, you have to create variable first. So our variable name is going to be plot like this. And we are going to use function ggplot. First, we are going to provide actual source of data and our source of data is variable with the same name. And now we are going to use function AES. With this function, we are going to provide actual uh, coordinates. So on x axis, we are going to have month like this. And on Y axis, we are going to uh, have income. And now plus. So with this first line, uh, we have uh, created ggplot object. We have provided source and we have provided what we want to plot. And now after this plus sign, we are going to provide uh, how actually we want to plot this. First, I'm going to create points with uh, geom underscore point okay just like that save it and in order to save your uh, ggplot image uh, we are going to use function gg save and as first argument we are going to provide path where we want uh, this uh, image to be saved let's say it's going to be 01 png and the uh, second argument is actually going to be plot that should be saved. So plot and that's all. I'm going to execute uh, this code. Okay, you see we have uh, saved our image. Let me show you what we have. So this is our image. And now I'm going to check this data and to tell you uh, what we actually have plotted. So we set on x axis month and uh, income uh, on y axis. So here is our income, uh, 780. And uh, month is first. So this should be our first point. We have uh, our first point on 780. And second, it's uh, 820. So that is this point. And uh, third, it's uh, 600, right on the line. 
fourth uh, it's uh, 700 right on the line too and everything else it's where it's supposed to be I'm going to close this let me show you a few other tricks you could do so uh, whenever you uh, add another geometry so this geom point it's short from uh, geometry point with this function we are actually going to print points on uh, sensitive places uh, determined by these two elements so x axis and y axis and now I am going to provide another option geom line that is short for a geometry align save it run this code and let's see what we have now you see now we have not only points but a line too that is going to connect our values like this and finally i'm going to show you one more for this episode geom smooth and provide argument color red okay save it and run it let me show you what we have now so we have uh points we have this straight line and at the end we have this smooth line colored in red okay so guys this is first episode on our channel about uh, ggplot I hope that you are going to like this content, so please subscribe and see ya!